Okay, today uh, this is our webinar part one of practical application of MBRS financial statement. Uh, so as what uh, Piling has say is basically a practical application, very hands on, very hands on. For the very first session, you know, like, <clears throat> for the very first session, which is today, you know, like, now uh, it will be about four hours, and I think I was they may be stretched right up to probably about four and a half or five hours. But the first, you know, like, part of it, the first two thirds of the time will be all, you know, like, learning about the basic concept and the points that you need to take note and you need to know. And you know, like on the second half of it, which another say one and a half or two hours, you know, is going to be very hands on, which you know, like your computer needs to be on uh, with the M tools. And your second part onwards, all will be very hands on. Uh, on the second part onwards until the end of the fourth part, all will be, will be very hands on. Then, if at the end of the fourth part, you know, like you still cannot finish. Then we will continue into the fifth part, okay? And the fifth part is also mainly, you know, right, on coaching. <clears throat> then the next one is your statement of cash flow. Uh, the statement of cash flow. Now, the statement of cash flow, you know, right, there are also two ways of preparing it. Two ways of preparing it. One way is <clears throat> direct method. Uh, one way you prepare the cash flow based on the direct method. But how do you know whether the cash flow is prepared on a direct or indirect? Whether it's prepared direct or indirect method. And by the way, to all participants, if you have any question, please post it into the, into the box, into the chat box or whatever. Then when you post inside there already, you know, right? When you post inside there, then, you know, all your questions will be answered. Oh. Uh, Mr. Tan, I still got another question from yeah. Alice. Yeah. At the end of all the keying in, you mentioned we need to scan the full set of accounts in PDF to submit together to SSM? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. that is the requirement. It is now until and unless until and unless they change you know, their requirements. Otherwise, yes. Because what has happened is you disclose in the MBRS template all are unsigned. Auditor's report also unsigned. Director statement also unsigned. Okay, right? Statutory declaration also unsigned. So they want to have the signed copy. So therefore, they ask you to scan the auditor's report, the signed auditor's report. Okay, and they also ask you to scan the statutory Director statement, the state statutory declaration, plus the full set of financial statement. And you got to enclose it together.